Hi there, I'm Muzaffar. <clears throat> In the last video, I left you with the questions. What is actually the real distance for water to travel in a channel? Right, so before we answer that question, let's recap what we need to do. We need to find out the total number of channels in this flocculation tank. Okay, how do we do that? By obtaining the total distance travel by water in the flocculator. Oh, we have already calculated it before. It was 255 meters divided by the distance travel by water in a channel. This is something that we like we would like to find out. Actually, the distance travel by water in a channel is called the effective length or PE. So what is the effective length? The effective length is the distance is this distance or in other words is the length of the buffer which is the width of the um, compartment minus the distance between end of buffer to the wall. And that value, as I have already mentioned in the previous video, is 1.5 distance between buffer. So the PE is the width of compartment minus 1.5 distance between buffer. Right, let's find out our PE so that we can put it in this equation. We have already got the value for the total distance traveled by water. So then after that, we will, we will be able to find out the total number of channels in this flocculation tank. Right, the PE or the effective length is the width of the compartment, which is 3 meter minus the 1.5 dBb. So 3 meters minus 1.5 distance between buffer is 0 0.75 meters and that value is 1.875 meters. So that is the effective length. Now we would like to find out the number of channels, the total number of channels in this flocculation tank. The total number of channels is simply total distance traveled by water in flocculator divided by PE, which is 255 meters, divided by the PE 1875, I'm sorry, 1.875 meters. You will get the total number of channels to be 136 channels. That is for total number of channels in this flocculation tank. Remember, we have three compartments, so the total has got to be divided into three so that we know, you know how many channels present in a compartment. Okay, So we divide this value into three to find out the number of channels in a compartment. 136 divided by three is equal to 45.333 channels. So this is not around a round number so we need to round up the number so we round it to be 46 why do we round it to 46 okay let's say if we do not want to round it to 46 we just want to take it 45 so if you time 45 with 3 the value would be 135 135 is not enough because we really need to have 136. Therefore, we have to round this number into 46. So we take a break. Thank you very much and Assalamualaikum.